Hey friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Short Stories, if this is your first time. Welcome to the family. We make fun stories every single day for you to listen to off of screens. And uh, at the end of our story, I have some birthday shout-outs. But if your birthday is coming up in August, you got to make sure that you tell your parents to check down in the show notes below to get on our August birthday shout out calendar so I can tell uh, you happy birthday. My birthday happens to be in August as well. So I think it's the best month in the world to have a birthday. Well, friends, <laughs> are you ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day outside as Kevin the dragon was walking home from his day at school. Yeah, dragons go to school too, and Kevin was no different. He had just learned how to read a really hard book. Have you ever tried to read a really hard book before? Yeah, that can be really hard, but pretty fun once you figure it out. And Kevin had been working on this one book for a long time and finally had figured it all out. Oh, that was such a good day at school, Kevin said. I'm so glad I finally figured out that book, but ouch, my one tooth really hurts. I hope there isn't a problem with it. You see, even though he had a really great day at school, there was this one tooth in his mouth that was hurting really badly, and it was almost even hard to... think about anything else other than that painful tooth. Has that ever happened to you or maybe your tooth or maybe something just hurts really bad and it's hard to even focus or think about anything else except that very itchy mosquito bite or that very sore tooth? Yeah. Oh, that can be hard. And Kevin the Dragon, it was hard for him to think of much of else besides that sore tooth. But you gotta say, it's it's pretty impressive that he was still able to read that really hard book, even with that very sore tooth. As he finally got home, his family welcomed him and asked how his day at school went. Yeah, it was a good day. I, uh, it was an okay day, I guess. I don't know, I, I did finish reading that one book. You did? That's, that's fantastic, they said. Yeah, it was okay, but I'm gonna head up to my room. Oh, okay, Kevin. Well, we, that's, that's great news, but, uh, okay, bye. Kevin just kept walking to his room because his tooth was hurting so badly. His family was all a little confused as to why he didn't want to celebrate with them about him finishing that really hard book. They knew that something must be going on, but they were going to give Kevin a little bit more space because maybe he just needed a couple minutes to collect his thoughts. As Kevin went to his bedroom, he closed the door and lay down in his bed. Oh, it hurts. It's like getting worse and worse and... Wait a second. He put his tongue on that one tooth. It's moving! Why is my tooth moving? He was getting very worried. This has never happened to him before. He never had a sore tooth that started to wiggle when he pushed on it with his tongue. Has that ever happened to you? Oh boy, Kevin the dragon was very scared. Oh no, maybe I broke my tooth forever, or or maybe all of them. Uh, Maybe they're all going to get broken and... Oh no, I gotta go look in the mirror. He raced over to the bathroom to look at the mirror inside of his mouth. Ah... Oh no, it does look twisted. Ah! As he opened his big mouth and looked in the mirror, he could see that the tooth didn't look normal. It was a little crooked and and it was wiggling a lot. He put his claws up to his tooth to try and straighten the tooth. And all of a sudden, it popped right out into his fingers. Kevin the dragon started panicking. Oh no! Are all of my teeth gonna fall out? Ah, ah, what do I do? What do I do? He did not know what to do. And hold on a second. Do you know what's going on? (laughs) I think it's a lot less scary than Kevin the Dragon is actually. Uh, The predicament that he's in is not as scary as he thinks, you know? 
Have you ever lost a tooth before? Maybe? Well, I, it sounds like this is Kevin's uh, first tooth that he's ever lost. And I think he's about to learn that it's not quite as scary as he's feeling right now. His family came rushing up the stairs to his bedroom. Kevin, are you okay? What's wrong? They shouted. <gasps> uh, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Ow. He tried to close his mouth to hide the hole that was now in between his teeth from that missing tooth. Kevin, is, is everything okay? They asked. Um, yes, yes. Why are you talking like that? You're talking with your mouth closed. Oh, this, no, this is how I normally, this is, this is how I always talk. I don't know what you're talking about. And, and what's in your hand? I did it. It was an accident. My tooth just fell out. And are all of my teeth going to fall out? Is my life over? He started to cry. He was very upset. His family came all around him and gave him a big hug. Oh, Kevin, it is going to be okay. Guess what? Do you know what that means? It means you're becoming a bigger and bigger dragon with that tooth coming out. <laughs> what do you mean it's making me bigger? I don't feel any bigger. Oh, well, maybe you don't feel bigger, but guess what? That is what we call a baby dragon tooth. And underneath is a grown-up dragon tooth. Like a grown-up tooth is a big deal. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? You, you mean my life isn't over? Said Kevin. Oh, why definitely not. <laughs> Your life is only just beginning and this is an important step in becoming a grown-up dragon. One day, all of those little baby teeth are going to fall out. All of my teeth are going to fall out? Oh, yes, yes, yes. But don't worry. They will all grow back. It'll happen one at a time. Not all at once. But it is an important step towards becoming a grown-up dragon. <sighs> okay. So it's not as scary as, as I thought it was? Oh, no. It's exciting. We should celebrate. Not only should we celebrate your amazing day at school of reading that really hard book, but we should also celebrate your very first tooth that came out. <sighs> okay. I like celebrations. That sounds like a great idea, said Kevin. His family would go on to go out to a special place to eat and celebrate Kevin's very big, exciting day. It's kind of funny how sometimes things can be very scary when they're new. Like, holy smokes, this must be the worst thing ever in the entire world because it's never happened to me before. <gasps> but actually, like we saw with Kevin, that first time that he lost his tooth, was an exciting thing because it was just the beginning towards him becoming a grown-up dragon. And so maybe you, uh, you'll have something new that happens this week. Maybe you'll lose your tooth for the first time, or maybe you'll try a new food, or maybe you'll read a really hard book for the first time. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure that the next time Kevin does something for the first time, it'll be a little less scary. Even though this is the end of our story, it's only just the beginning of Kevin the Dragon's great adventures that lie ahead. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Brrr. Happy birthday, Brooks, who's turning six years old. Brooks likes playing with Transformers, trading Pokemon cards, and his sport is basketball. Wow, Brooks, I'm so glad we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. Friends, if you want to have your birthday celebrated and your birthday is in August or September, make sure that you tell your parents to check down in the show notes below to get on our birthday shout out schedule. Well, friends, have a super duper day. And I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.